Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, and the time is finally here on the Angler. We are on to the competitions for it. So similar to the Hunter competitions, we will be going after a species each week as well here in the Angler for fishing. So we'll have some fishing and hunting now, so it's a whole nother series we'll be able to put together and have an extra video each week, hopefully, or every now and then we'll work it back and forth it just depends on how it works out for us but so it's going to be an eight week season just like the hunter and we yeah you got eight weeks and then you got a tournament and then a week off after that and then a restart to the next season so season one here we are week one and we are on golden ridge and our first species is the large mouth bass so we are going to go after those now what we've got to do is get our three heaviest fish, that's what we're going for, our three heaviest fish. So we're looking for three golds, and three diamonds obviously, but diamond and some golds, but at least try to get into the golds. Now we've got more days, we've got an extra day compared to the hunting competitions, that way we can have more time to work between the two competitions. But we're gonna be looking for bass this weekend, and we'll see what we come up with. Hopefully that works out for us really well. I've already fished quite a few of the bass here. I. I don't have a diamond in them yet, but that's okay. Maybe it's this weekend is our weekend we get our first one of those. But, uh, yeah, that's what we're going to go for. So we also have two other awards similar to the Hunter where we have the Sniper and the Jackalope. Here we have the Lunker, which is the single heaviest fish. And we have the Dinklage Award, which is for the dinkiest, smallest little fish. So... Yeah, that that is a bronze so it has to be bronze not a juvenile the smallest bronze will get an award similar to the jackalope and the heaviest fish is the lunker and those two people will qualify for the tournament as well as the top three with the three heaviest fish on their weight so interesting and here we go so we're gonna head out go to some of my favorite bass spots and see what happens this weekend. I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be a lot of fun. We'll catch some good fish, I'm sure of it. But I hope you all enjoy the video. Uh, let's get to it. Mmm, that, ooh, that could be a big one. Pretty heavy. Working that lighter tackle. Just to get some bonus points on the score. That's what we're going to do here for now. Depend on how many tiger musky and pike end up breaking our lines, but felt like a pretty good bass there. Let's get a look at him. Oh yeah, that's a big old gold right there. Yes. Ooh, 7.72 gold. I didn't think there was another one here. I did just catch a 5.63 pound gold, and <laughs> I did that and forgot to uh, record with Mike so but uh, all right our second gold already right off the bat for the weekend now this guy is a 7.72 without a diamond that's getting into a pretty good range for gold if I remember right um, seven pounds pretty good size largemouth I can't remember for sure but we'll see but a 7.72 that's pretty good size and with without having full set of diamonds so this guy's probably gonna last the whole weekend for us we'll get that score wrote down and get our screenshots done and we are on our way to this first tournament getting it going that is fantastic I still don't have a diamond largemouth bass at all ever yet well it's not like it's been that long since the game's been out but that's definitely what we're after <laughs> oof there we go Yes, that's a big one. That's what I'm looking for. A 6.4 right there. I thought that was a big one. I felt pretty heavy. 6.4 pounds. Let's get that rope down for sure. That's going to give us three golds. At least we are on our way now. 6.4. We're looking for golds only at this point. 
at minimum and try to increase our weight but ha huh, where are the diamonds they still elude me but we're very happy with this this is awesome wasn't too bad not too bad at all it's 7.46 and that is almost as big as our biggest our biggest was 772 so 7.46 that will move our gold 5.63 off the list and now we are our low our low poundage is 6.4 of our three so we're definitely gonna get our screenshots with this guy and move up right now I'm using the uh, the uh, five frog. I like the five because that's silver large mouth, but it is gold small mouth, so I can still catch some small mouth, high quality, you know, golds or diamonds, but I still catch enough fish, make some money for my time with the silver large mouth, and then of course pike and musky, but as they be, as they can be quite a nuisance and get in your way for these, but that's that's part of it. That's what you have to live with. Anyway, 7.46 get those screenshots like I said and we are still on our way this is awesome <laughs> I went right to the map by accident I'm trying to grab that with one hand my luck it'll probably be a big one I'll have to keep this recording oh. <laughs> <It is. laughs> that is a good one that's got to be a gold <laughs> Oops. Here we go. And a gold 7.66. That will move our 6.4 off the board. That is our second biggest bass. Get the 6.4 off. So, so we sit with a 7.72, 7.66, and 7.46. That's a pretty good group of golds, that's for sure. Go right back at the same spot. Ah, had to get a text in there. Well, this guy. Oh, this guy looks... Oh, are you kidding me? Did we just back-to-back -back gold right out of that same spot? I just let him sit there because I, I had to finish a text I was doing. What in the world? That looks like another gold. That's pretty big, though. That's pretty big. Oh! Oh, yes! I just caught that 7.66 gold right there. I threw it back in the same spot. Bam, diamond. What? What? Most times you just keep on moving. I don't know, man. When there's a hole, you go right back after it. 9.93 diamond. Our first ever diamond bass. And we got it here, right here in our first competition. That is awesome. We can drop off our 7.46 and we will stick that diamond 9.93 not a 10 pounder but it's still 9.93 that is awesome right back in the same spot I, 
That's something to be thinking about, that's for sure. Ooh. Heck. Ooh. Oh. Oh, that one's pulling. That one's pulling. Oh, maybe. Is that a gold or that may be a diamond, maybe? Oh, there it is. There it is. Whoo. Whoo. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. A diamond. 9.05 right there. That is awesome. And we caught it on our lighter tackle. Yeah, I'm running lighter tackle because it's kind of a uh, bit of a bonus acknowledgement if the higher your score. So we're running some light tackle. We caught a diamond. He did pull on it pretty good. So now I know that I hadn't got to a diamond yet with it. So that's awesome. Clearly our highest score on a largemouth bass right there. That is cool. 9.05 diamond. That goes with our 9.93. So we are two diamonds in out of three so that's going to knock our 7.6 gold off we have a 7.72 gold 9.93 diamond 9.05 diamond one more and we'll have a full pack of diamonds for the weekend with plenty of time to go this is awesome couldn't have gone any better for us i love that as you can see we're under the blue bridge here caught them both here the other one was just on the other side behind me and this one was right out here on this side so one on each side of this bridge here I mean the same side of the bridge but each side of the water that's pretty sweet that one looks pretty good come on hit it there we go Ooh. That, was that a that was maxing us out is that a bass come on now come on now be a big pig I thought that was a bass out there. I have to actually knock down my drag a little for this setup. What do we got? What do we got? Come on. Be a bass. Oh, it is. This. Is this a diamond? It's obviously at least a gold, but I'm thinking. I'm thinking. We got. Oh, come on, don't break. Come over here. At least a gold. At least a gold. <laughs> I can't. It might be a diamond. Oh, yes! 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 And a big one, too. And a big one. Holy cow, get some screenshots here. That is beautiful. 10.38 pounds right there. Get that rope down. That's Keola back there on the back. Oh, he's trying to move around and take a picture. He was on the back of my boat. He's getting him a picture for me. I appreciate that. That is a big old diamond, 10.38. I'm not sure, but that might be the biggest one so far in the competition clearly my best i keep taking screenshots because <laughs> let's go right here grab that screenshot got Kyo's jacket in there he'll he'll appreciate that get a one more i am so happy with this this is awesome what a big old largemouth bass man 10.38 that's good stuff that's good stuff Whew. i don't know what else to say Guys, we've got a full three pack of diamonds for our three fish. All we can do now to get better is to do more diamonds, even bigger. So <laughs> what a weekend. And we're off this week from hunting, so nothing but time for bass fishing. Look at that, got a little purple hue to him on his back. That's gorgeous. Man, personal best, here we go. What an awesome spot, man. I've got all three of my diamonds right here in front of the blue bridge. I've been around some other places I'm about to head out, but I thought I'll cast a couple more times and Keela ran over here and jumped on my boat. That's pretty funny. And I was like, oh, I'll just stay here a little longer then. And sure enough, I got to hand it to him. He pretty much gave this to me because I would not have been here still if he hadn't ran over and jumped on the boat. So that's pretty funny. That 
one's got some good tension. Unless it's a pike. Let's go. Oh, that is a bass. Ooh, a jumper too. Is that a small? What do we got? Oh, it is. Oh! Diamond small. I'm sorry for the yell, but that's our first ever diamond smallmouth right here. Haven't moved since I caught my big diamond largemouth. Boom, boom. That's awesome. Our first ever diamond smallmouth. That That is amazing. See, Kiel is still hanging out on the boat with us. Man, what what a uh, what a pull here. This is fantastic. Ooh, this has been a great weekend. My goodness. What a spot, though. That did not look that big in the water. I mean, he's not a monster. He's 8.94, and we're not going to be able to use him in our three, but it's still a diamond. It's still a diamond token. But that thing, he'd hit so close to the boat, and I'm reeling him in. He didn't put too much of a fight. And uh, But very last part, he was kind of hard to get up there, but I did not expect that, or I would have said something. I thought he was just another silver making some cash, but diamond anyway here we go diamond number four diamond number four for the weekend on largemouth that is awesome plus we've got our small mouth yet so got another species we're able to work on wow here buddy that's a heavy one that's a heavy one might have something yo I honestly honestly thought that was gold yes <laughs> 9.84 that will be our third place diamond our fourth or our fifth diamond but this will move into our third place as our lowest was 9.05 now it is 9.84 that is a beast yeah he came in so easy right there i didn't even see anything and then all of a sudden he started fighting by the boat and then i saw it was a bass i'm like hey this is going to be at least a gold right yes a nice big old diamond, diamond large mouth number five on the weekend Heavy one there. Well, put on a fight. Hopefully it's not a pike. Decent. Sometimes a pike do too though. Wait, 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 wait. That looks like a bass. That looks like a bass. That is a bass. Hello. That'd be pretty decent. At least a gold. Oh, it's a diamond. <laughs> diamond. Diamond number six on the weekend. Why? He is an 8.76. That's pretty close to minimum diamond because I know I've had some pretty big, or I've seen some pretty big golds in the eights, but, uh, our smallest is the last one we got which was 9.84 so this guy even though he doesn't get into our top three he still gets us a diamond we get the diamond token he's another diamond for us and i was needing another one because i want to upgrade my tackle box i want to put more stuff on my tackle box that's for sure so I'm very happy to have him this gets me there
Got potential. A bit of a fight, but still coming in. Much more consistent with what the largemouth do versus. Oh, yeah, it's a largemouth. This. That's a good one. Should be probably a gold basin weight back then, maybe. Oh, nope. It's a bigger one. <laughs> diamond, 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 diamond. We have learned the bass. We've got them down pretty good. Right here, you want to grab the uh, popper or frog. And you want to be twitching. About two speed is what I normally run. Two speed, twitching with the popper or the frog. The popper's been doing a lot better for me here lately. That popper I have is a little bit different. I think it is from doing uh, stuff on Norway missions or some kind of thing on Norway and it unlocks, gets you a free lure. I believe it's from Norway. I don't think it's from here on Golden Ridge, but really enjoying catching these largemouth. It's been a lot of fun. Lots of fun. Maybe a smallmouth. I noticed they're jumping a little bit more. Feeling pretty heavy. Yeah, that's a good one. At least a gold. At least a gold. Yeah, very nice. Got a gold smallmouth. Take that token. Oh, right there, right by the boat. Come on. That a, that, oh, that's a fat pig. That's a fat pig. Got to be gold. Nice. Oh, no, 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 no. It's a diamond. <laughs> no way. We just caught a diamond. I think we got a gold smallie and then a diamond. I think that bam, bam, bam. That's incredible. All from the same spot. And <laughs> now this diamond, 10.02, guess what? That's going to move into our second biggest diamond. That we are gonna, that's going to knock our 9.84 out. And we have... A 10.38, 10.02, and 9.93. Now we're looking for a, another 10 pounder to knock our 9 pounder off. Not the biggest fish caught this weekend. We are not on that. Someone has like a 10.7. So we're still looking for that, but we're not complaining. We are not complaining. Pretty heavy guy here. What do we got? What do we got? Do we got? Come up out of there. That is a bass. That's got to be a good one. He's fighting really hard. We're here at the starting dock right by the outpost. Just sitting and standing on our boat. It's got to be a gold, right? That's yeah, pretty good size. That might be even bigger. Let's see. Yes, diamond. Oh man, 8.88 on that diamond. He. We don't need him as our biggest is. Or our smallest is 9.93 but again another diamond for the weekend I'm losing track forgive me if I'm wrong I think that's eight largemouth diamonds eight I believe I, I could be wrong if I'm totally wrong then I apologize but wow right here at the starting outpost I've never caught a diamond here I know a lot of people have so I definitely wanted to give it a shot and we did so <laughs> I, it's, a, it's early in the morning on this server, so I just thought I'm going to go to a different area because the area I like is really good in the evening. So I'm just ran down here to, from the outpost uh, and uh, here we go. This guy is putting up a fight and he's staying down there. He's pretty heavy. Come on, come on. Oh, that's a uh, smaller. A nice big gold at least. That one's fighting pretty good though. It might be better than I think. Yes, it is. Diamond smallmouth number two on the weekend. Our second one ever and our personal best. 1.03 pounds larger than the other one, which I believe it just made diamond. So this is a very nice diamond smallmouth for us, getting us up there. All right, thanks for being here at the end of the video, everyone. But we had an insane largemouth bass 
fishing weekend. What a great first competition. Again, if you are interested in competing in these competitions with me and, and the others, feel free to click the link. It's in the description to the Facebook page. It's open to all the consoles and PC, but uh, there are gonna be eight weeks of competition where you try to qualify for a tournament. So there's nothing to be behind. There's no points added from week to week. You can jump in anytime. I highly encourage you to do it. Get in there. That way we can have something to talk about. I think it'd be a lot of fun. If you're interested, the link is in the description. Now, we had nine diamond largemouth bass. We found our spot and we hammered it all weekend. We had four days to do that. So I was able to spend a lot of time not having the hunter competitions this week as they're off for a week. And then we also got two diamond smallmouth. So 11 diamonds in total here in this video. Sorry it took so, it took so long, but I had to let the story play out. We're not gonna leave out any of the 11 diamonds, so we gotta make sure to get those in for sure. And as far as competition went, we did qualify for the tournament. We did get second place. We were just behind first place. First place ended up with a total of 30.92 pounds. We had 30.33 pounds in our three biggest fish, and that gave us second. And we were so we just missed it, but their biggest fish was 10.7 or something like that. So they had that one big fish. If we were able to make up that mm, 0.3 ish pounds, we would have uh, really got got in there and probably squeaked it out. We we led most of the weekend until the very last couple hours, and and that uh, that person did overtake us. And congratulations to them. We had a great time back and forth. Well, that person was Keela, the guy you saw on the boat. That was him, so that's fine. I'm happy with that. But he did end up winning. He got a big old monster of uh, a uh, bass, and he won the Lunker Award as well. So that's pretty cool. But thank you all for sticking around this far into the video. And those of you that did, I'm going to show you where we caught these things. All right. So one of our diamonds came from this hole here, which is a good hole in a diamond known location, as well as the one right here, as I said, right off of the outpost, the, the starting outpost. But the rest of my diamonds the other nine the other seven large mouth and two small mouth right here in this hole basically i've got one off of here and then this hole this is for uh sturgeon but bring your boat into here park right in this area cast over here or you can bring your boat here and i cast along the shore sometimes i did that way back and forth sometimes i sat here and, and caught them i also caught one over here on this side i just don't want to have too many markers so um, you can do that from over here. I know that uh, Keola caught a bunch over here too. So, But this side, this spot right here seemed to be my super hot spot. So if you're looking for bass in a competition, as of right now, that's that's my go-to spot. I camped there most of the weekend, <laughs> along with Keola, as you saw in much of it. But All right, guys, I appreciate you all being here at the end of the video to be able to see that. And thank you for sticking around. I know it's a long video, but there was a lot to show. Look forward to next week. We are already qualified, but we aren't going to not do the competition. We've got Hunter and we've got the Angler competitions this weekend. We're going to have to split some time up between the two. Let's see what that's going to be. But if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to stay notified and shoot the like button to help others find the channel. If you didn't, thank you for watching this long. Back to work on our next video. Until then.